this video i'm going to tell you some of my shocks as demanded by people and so today i'm going to bring them to you i don't want to skip any of this cultural shock because as much as they are shocking me i want you people that are coming to be aware that these things are actually real so sometimes when you see people here like nigeria's here doing some things you understand better that it is because of what is happening over here not because they want to do alcohol i didn't get it until i came here too so stay tuned <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel so if this is your first time of seeing this face my name is Oluwa Kemi Bio. yeah please subscribe because it's your first time please please subscribe subscribe okay give me as a Christmas gift subscribe to my channel okay so if this is your first time kindly subscribe to my channel if you are an existing subscriber you know I don't take you for granted thank you for always coming back for your girl. Do you want a martini? <laughs> okay, so in today's video, I want to tell you some of the shocks that I've experienced in my two months here in Canada. One is, do you know people here, they don't hear us? I'm speaking English, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm speaking English like this. They don't hear us. I'm opportune to work in one of the organizations and i realized that when i talk they don't hear me and when they talk too i barely hear them because they talk so fast now it's not like the english i'm speaking is wrong or what they are saying too is wrong but because we talk slowly this english is slow for them and they they talk so fast so it's kind of so most times they say, oh, pardon me, and then you have to repeat it. So you now see why most people change their accents. Like a friend of mine was saying that, ah, see me in this country, I have like three accents. I give it to different people differently. And when I speak, when I see my Niger, I talk to them back the way we talk like this. Because they barely hear us. And it's not only me experiencing this man. Husband too is opportune to work with this one of the big organizations here. And for he to even come back and say that when they are talking to him, he doesn't do anything. He just give them the attention. And when they talk so fast that he can't hear them, he will just tell them, oh, come again. So most times when they talk, I look into their face like this with rapt attention so that I can hear them easily. Anyway, this happened. When I started working with them, now I can easily hear them. But I need to start talking like them. So when you hear me speak some other time, please don't take it as a call. It is because we need to talk like them. We need to speak like them for them to hear us. They barely hear us. They barely hear this our English. That's number one. Number two is, you see the way we enter hospital anyhow in that place? Hospital is not like that over here. Especially emergency. They will even tell you it's not an emergency. It takes longer time for you to see doctor over here. That was why in one of my videos that I said are essential but funny things. You need to see that video so that you prepare yourself of things to bring to Canada. Especially the med medicine part of it, the drug part of it. So that you understand that you need to bring drug. Our Nigerian for 500 drug to this place. It works. Especially if you have kids, you don't want to start looking. And drugs are not so common. Yeah, like, I remember one time my son was had a cough and we needed to buy a cough drug for him. Ah, the one we even bought was tasting like sugar. It's not like it should not taste like sugar, but there's a way drug would take effect like, effect, like two, three days. This one, it's just like you are taking sweets. Please. Bring your Nigel drug when you are coming to avoid unnecessary. Number three is that everything here is appointment. If you want a mechanic to check your car, it is appointment. If you want to barb your hair, you have to call beforehand to book an appointment. Everything. If you want to see a doctor, a midwife, anything is appointment. They give you a date and on that your appointment day, you dare not miss 
the day because they might not even have another space for you everything here is appointment number four is your phone bills is monthly is a postpaid card it's not like the way we buy a card like 200 naira recharge MTN card once you sign up for any of those mobile network they send you bill at the end of every month you have unlimited calls and you have like 12 gig for the whole of the month depending on your package and that 12 gig it will take you for the whole of the month internet here doesn't take forever and most homes we still have um wi-fi in the house so the mobile home is just for you to use when you are not at home so most times it is always enough so like for me my bill is just 50 dollars per month the fifth shock for me is that salary is paid bi-weekly yes unlike the niger own that till the end of the month before they pay they can hire you on the 12th of a month i started working like odd number of the month and they still paid me in like two weeks so they don't even care you can start work on the seventh you can start work on the 10 you can start anytime you start it's just bi-weekly they will pay you they can tell you to start work on a thursday or on a wednesday they pay you bi-weekly then at my workplace what i notice is maybe like the sixth culture shock is that they don't press phone here ha ah, niger with the press phone and i'm missing that part at work maybe that is why they people say that they work 24 7 here because their eight hours is eight hours yeah you cannot cheat them when they tell you you have you have eight hours to work with them they give you break of like 30 minutes or one hour you take your break you don't work and when it is four i close four everybody goes home no and if they want you to do extra they will even pay you double of what you are supposed to pay so they barely press phone except maybe your break time because you have a desk phone that you will give to your maybe daycare or anyone in case of emergency that they can call you on but that your mobile phone you barely use it that is why most times when you call all these white people you see voicemail just drop a message for me i'm going to respond because they do more voicemail to answering of calls that's another one the transportation part of for me is for bus they when you enter a bus and you have a child the front row part of it they stand up for you or maybe an old woman you carrying a baby you have a baby on you everybody on that first row they stand up for you for you to sit down <laughs> that cannot happen in nigeria if you like you stand up with your baby except some people some people are just nice yeah but yeah it's mandatory you just stand up for elderly seniors and for younger people and pedestrian owes the right of way yeah. even if there's no stop sign or anything pedestrian once you see them on the road all the bus they stop all the cars they stop for the pedestrian to cross even if there's no sign for pedestrians to cross you will just stop for them to cross another shocking part is if a school bus is now now park to pick a child do you know boats going and coming vehicles they stop some meters away for the child to enter the school bus and for the bus to school bus to go before you can continue your journey ah ah this one is massive pretty concerns concerns school bus in niger school bus they do it over they do it all now but over here it is not like that then for the work part two there's no sir there's no ma i remember on my day of interview the person that interviewed me is like the owner of the company like the pata pata of guy of that company and everyone was calling him hey hi hey richard hi Lord. that's all they were just calling him by the name all of them calls themselves by name ha you dare not do that in nigeria i remember the day i resumed as a shell pattern graduate in in my former nigerian complaint i was opportune to be among the shell pattern graduates of that year and when they posted me to the complaint that i'll be working for i 
the person that sent mail for me of acceptance from Shell to the company, I just, I didn't know maybe it's a miss of, I just got there and like, I met someone and like, good morning, I'm asking for this name. And I did not put Mr. or Mrs. because I don't know the name, if it's a Mr. or a Mrs. Ha! Ah, if you see what the person told me, hey! Why will you put why will you call the person by name and not like a missus or a mister? I like sorry, is he a missus or a mister? How how can I meet the person? I know respect is so like on the high side for us in Nigeria, but over here, even like the eldest eldest, they will call the person by name. First name in short. So <laughs> everybody is by name in this place. The thing still they shock me. Another thing is school year. Uh starts from age of five six and not like the way we start school two years in nigeria so that means if you have a child you need to take him to daycare that a child that is less than five years you need to take him to daycare for him to stay while you work especially if you're a working mom unlike nigeria that someone can just you can take your child to like school or like a nanny back in nigeria i have someone that takes care of him because that time, when I took him to school in Nigeria, like uh, a crush, every day, they keep bringing him sick. Like, I carry, he'll go to school today, next week, he's already sick. And me, I'm working, like, uh, I don't like when something stresses me out. I just took a nanny that takes care of him and the house for me. She does everything. I really enjoy it. Shout out to all the working mom in Canada, UK, US that doesn't have any help because getting help here you won't even get help last last you just take them to like a daycare so if you're coming around here and you know getting a daycare is not even as easy as what you think because even me since i've been here i've been on long waiting list for them to take my son in so if you know where you want to stay start applying for daycare you have to be on their waiting list so they call you when they have a space because everything here in our appointments shout out to all the working more i know it's not easy taking care of child in this part of the world <laughs> but you guys so i look for you you are really trying i know in this country this is where you your husband everybody works together thank you boo for always standing by us and the last but not the least of my coach work is that most houses here are built with wood. You dare not do something that will disturb your neighbor. You will just hear the neighbor report to you and they will evict you from the house. <laughs> A Nigerian rented an apartment. I got, I, someone told me a story of a Nigerian that rested, rented an apartment in Calgary and they, they have a child and when they, they got to the house just in one week, the neighbor complained that the family is disturbing them and the agents told them they, they have to quit. Like how? Someone just came in just one week and you are giving them quit notices already how they said the person complained that the they are disturbing him or are with the child's play or jumping and you know child cannot be like in this my house i used to caution my son but you know they are just child so you have to be careful when you're renting an apartment to just be sure that <laughs> you would not be disturbing your neighbor i <laughs> you know like because it is wood i always encourage people to take apartments uh like maybe the second or fourth or, and not like a basement because the wood itself helps us not to be so cold they use wood because of cold so that because concrete tends to absorb more cold for this year weather so they most of their buildings are always wood so they do wood because of cold and basements when you are now in basements you know parts of the basement needs to be like concrete so that is why it is always colder and because it is the lower level of the building it's always cold colder than the main apartments so that's why i encourage people 
even if you want to get an apartment i know it's all about money but please as much as possible because the difference between the basement and the upper room maybe like 100 or 200 dollars you now want to go and enjoy yourself with cold down please i know god will provide for you so thank you all for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any other thing you want me to discuss can you put it in the comment below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel please subscribe and watch my other videos i do videos because i want people to learn not because i want people to see my lifestyle i'm even i'm not a social person like that but i just want people to learn so that you could just live your best life when you come without struggle i have so so much online friends even here in in Manitoba, and we've been it's been a great thing having them around so please subscribe to my channel it will help you one way or the other at least you've learned something so please encourage me to do more by subscribing to my channel yeah 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 see you in my next video bye